Josh Brown is back with us. Yeah. All right. So let's get some things on the table. You were in the stock. Yes. Had this huge jump. Yes. You just sold it because we talked about it the other day, whatever yeah. day that was. You sold it recently ahead of the number. What, yeah. do, you, what do you expect now here? Kind of, now I'm kind of feeling like maybe I should be in it. I, I'm a sucker for this idea that surprises typically follow in the direction the stock is already going. And it's not impossible for Netflix to have a really good earnings report. It's an analyst at UBS covering the stock, talking about the possibility of a reacceleration in subscriber growth. So in the third quarter, uh, the company added 2.4 million subs. And UBS, for example, is looking for four and a half million. Yeah, that's 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 the number. Yeah, they so, gave you. I mean, they guided to that number too. So yeah, I, listen, I I think that is the kind of sentiment that might already be in the stock. So I felt good letting it go. You have to understand, I bought it because I thought it was way overdone to the downside. The stock is now up a hundred percent off its low. This is one of the biggest bouncers in the entire market. Um, you, you also have to keep in mind the the history here. This is a company that had five straight negative reactions to earnings starting in 2020 through that first quarter of 21. And then they really blew up through that first quarter of 21. They really, though, blew up in uh, Q1's report, which was the spring of 22. That's when the stock went down 35 percent a day, the worst day for Netflix ever. But look at what's gone on since then. They've put together two back-to-back -back upside surprise quarters. After one of them, the stock popped 13 percent. After the other one, the stock popped 7 percent. Very respectable. And in the meanwhile, this is one of the cheapest moments, valuation-wise, for Netflix that really we've ever seen. The stock is trading at half its five-year average enterprise value to EBITDA, and it's very, very far below its, its uh, tenure. So it's, it's, I think it's cheap for Netflix. Mm -hmm. I think expectations have been suitably restrained, given the last couple of years uh, history that I just laid out. Right. And there is the potential for that upside surprise. Technically, the stock looks fantastic. So, OK, so you got issues, right? You got slowing revenue growth, right? Dramatically slowing in revenue stock, growth in the stock. You, you got no sub guidance anymore. Right. So you got to you know, figure out how the street's going to react to the fact you're not going to get sub guidance anymore. Yes, I'm happy about that. And about that. the analysts suggest that the ad supported tier is off to a slow start. Let me give you the other side of the ad supported tier. What that will do, maybe not accelerate the, the sub numbers and be a big top line driver, but that could end up reducing churn and anything that you can do as a SaaS business, as a subscription business to reduce churn is net positive. So in other words, even if they go from premium, like just from some top level down to ad, at all. ad supported, I'm about just as long as you them keep them all. in the house, I think that's going to be the, the new focus uh, for, for, for the company. Look, keep in mind, everybody now is focused on profits. Everybody now is focused on cash flows. The sub growth story is great. I don't think it's going to be the biggest determinant of whether or not Netflix at 335 a share or 325 a share is is a buy. I think the focus is going to continue to be um, is the company earning more money than I, than I thought they would? Is the company finding new ways to reduce churn? Is the company finding new ways to capitalize on its already enormous audience size? So I, I feel good about it going in. I don't currently own it. And if they beat it up over some stupid metric, I might even end up buying it back again. OK, you give us a holler tomorrow in overtime. I know you'll be watching. If you do do that, you let us know. Absolutely. And we'll hear from you again. That's Josh Brown. Thanks again for sticking around.